Alright, I believe we're live. So, this is week one of preseason, which is this Thursday. For the Buffalo Bills, it is against the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are in Buffalo, and unfortunately, I'm not going to that game. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be going to preseason week four when the Lions come to Buffalo, and that's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. So uh, I'm looking forward to that game. And then I'm still right now trying to get tickets for the either Saints game or Buccaneers game, whatever uh, whatever we happen to get first. But um, yeah, this is going to be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the uh, Buffalo Bills. And now I got the uh, comments going on. We got our host Mario Minecraft here. Yo, Max, we're gonna go down the bike trailer today. Bullshit, we are. Here we go. Uh, the rosters are somewhat updated. This is actually on my brother's account. My account, everything got deleted somehow. I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know. I somewhat got some guys added. See, we got Andrea Holmes, Sammy Watkins, some old guys like Chris Gregg. I'm pretty sure he's not even on the Bills anymore. But we'll see what happens. Now Taylor on first down. And he's got Greg here, the tight see? end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to I'm call leaving it. after this max. I won't be home until probably two. Confident about, something they feel good. FYI. See that Sammy Watkins? We're gonna bomb him right here. From there because the confidence elevates. Ooh, Andre. Oh, damn it. He dropped it. See, in real life, he'll catch it. In real life, Andre will catch it. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. Look at the well, there we go, Shady. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a 10 yard pickup, and it moves the chains. So I have a face cam, it just two. doesn't work. That's a the problem. S milled. It doesn't work. I gotta get a new one. Streeter. So last time we did a. Last time I did a live stream, I'm pretty sure a drug deal went on in the chat. Pat DeMarco, best fullback in the NFC. Yeah. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down following the run. A good solid game there on None first taken down, for the, the trash talkers. To be happy. They didn't let it pop for I don't know. Either. I'm trying to read the comments on the side, but I don't know what's going on. McCoy this time. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. For McCoy this year, fifth time in his eight-year career that he's topped the thousand-yard mark. Charles, first time he's done it with the Bills, though. Finished yeah, the we gotta get a touchdown here. Yeah, to throw it to Andre Holmes. And what I mean by that is, as a runner, as a pass catcher, he does a little bit of. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? So we gotta get a touchdown here. We gotta throw it to Andre Holmes. Well, that's how they envisioned it. Get the football to start the game. Ah, damn it! Hashka's number is one instead of four. I gotta fix that. Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense. All right, Vikes, let's see what you can do. I may and may not have added. Some special players to the Bills defense. I may and may not have added Khalil Mack to the Bills defense. <laughs> Let's go, Bradford. Wait, who did the uh, Adrian Peterson go on? The uh, New Orleans Saints. That's gonna be something. Adrian Peterson went to the uh, Saints. That's right. A lot of it can come back to the injuries, especially along the offensive line. 
I think by around October, maybe even early November. When MJ Sam joins this chat, I don't know if he'll be here or not, but he's the he's the head of drug deals that go on in the chat. It's happened last chat, and I'm pretty sure it's going on right now. I'm, I'm happy for the 12 viewers we have right now. 14 viewers, even better. We had like 25 viewers the other day when I did the Shino Numa Zombies live stream. Holy crap, man. That was great. Alright, so Sam Bradford still sucks as always. So uh, he's going to punt it to Rod Streeter. And we're going to see how good he is. Hopefully when he actually plays this Thursday when we play the Vikings. Rod Streeter does make some good plays. We'll see. Streeter's good. I'm just going to keep doing the coach suggestions. Just, it's working so far. I mean, we scored a touchdown already, so that's good. Oh, let me know if my mic sounds like all buggy because apparently that was what was going on last time. And uh, no one said anything, so... You know, I, I just don't want to start, like, screaming, and then all of a sudden the thing starts buzzing around and people don't say anything. It ruins the, uh, the thing, and I don't want that to happen. Let's go, Sammy. That sound fine. Good. Good, 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 good. You're going on vacation? I couldn't see who said that. I sound fine. He can drive there and meet in the middle. Uh, yeah, looks like we got a drug deal going on. Well, from Buffalo to Florida, you know, meet in Carolina. It's 50 50. Oh, oh that, that's a face mask on a. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, boy. A healed foot and a chance to Next stream, play Black Ops 2. Yeah, I gotta do a Black Ops 2 stream. A lot of people have been asking me for Black Ops 2 lately. Interception. Oh, I, I, I didn't think about doing that. How long have I liked the Bills? Since I was born. <laughs> I live in Buffalo, so... You know, they're my team. And I'm going to the Lions game this... Or no, not this time. At the end of August for week four preseason. Then I might go to the Buccaneers and Saints game. I don't know, I'm still in seeing what the tickets are. End of one quarter. Alright, we're doing good. You can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. First down and ten now for the offensive group. About to score a second touchdown. Come on, go. Going to a house show for SummerSlam in Florida. That's going to be fun, man. They'll pitch it out to McCoy. Oh, look at the juke. Oh, there we go, Shady. Again with a juke. Oh, I had that. The house shows are fun. I was just at a house show two weeks ago. Uh, everyone was there that I wanted to see besides the Hardy Boys, so, you know, oh well. But then I ended up buying an AJ Styles shirt on uh, this WWE shop.com, so. <laughs> oh, I tried to run. That's fine. I needed yard to throw the uh, ball anyways. The 10 yard line's perfect. What's my prediction for the Super Bowl? The Buffalo Bills versus the Green Bay Packers. You heard it first. The Bills are going to do good this season. If you've seen what they've done with the trade in the offseason, oh man, they're, they're ready. This is the season. Plus, Rex Ryan's gone. And we got Sean McDermott. It's going to be Green Bay and Buffalo. Buffalo's going to shock the world. The reason why, because Tom Brady's going to get an arm injury. Yeah, that's, that's true. Brady just turned 40. He's going to get an arm injury. Damn it. we got to go for a field goal. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's fourth down. Now 22 yarder. I thought we were further out. Stephen Hauschka from the left hash, a chip shot here, and that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance that they have any decision to make on fourth down. Yeah, I didn't so pre-order the Halloween El Toro yet. I might. It ships out at the end of August too, from what I've heard. Lesnar will be there. Lesnar was at the last house show that was in Buffalo back in March. Him, he took on the big show, 
and then I think Triple H was there, and that's when Finn Balor returned from his injury. Yeah, last the last house show in Buffalo was stacked, man. Brock, Finn returned, Triple H was there, everyone was there, and I didn't go to it because my dad was uh, getting surgery, so I, I couldn't go. But I did go to the one two weeks ago, and you know, good show. Roman Reigns put Braun Strowman through a table at the end, which was pretty cool. Oh man, these Vikings don't know how to play. Although I'm pretending this game's a preseason game, we're winning 10 nothing, so I'm happy. It's the Madden curse because every player that's been on the cover has been uh, injured, and that is true because Gronk got hurt, even though the Patriots still won the Super Bowl. Uh, that we stopped him. He's a yard short, ain't he? Yeah. No, I didn't get any autographs, unfortunately. Even though I was on the floor and I was like at the very last row from where the announcer's table was, straight in the back, everyone ran up to the front when like uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose came up to the gate, so there was, there was no chance that I was going to get an autograph. Plus he walked away fast, he signed like three people's autographs and then walked away. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Bills offense gets ready. Odell was on the cover of Man 16, didn't get hurt. Five wide, three of them to the right was he? Side. I didn't even see that. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. A gain of six there on first. <laughs> Put a McDonald's truck in the next series. <laughs> Wait, do we get the ball next? Four yards remaining now on No, I think we punt it for the third quarter. Circle. Go, Andre. Go, Andre. Yeah, boy. Oh, we got to hurry up. We got a minute. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Taylor on first down. Yo, Andre Holmes is making plays, baby. He'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Give him seven on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Let's go! Brand 38! Brand 38! From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Wide open. Alright, we got a first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good. Good. That was perfect. Just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a I'm missing all these comments, by the way. For everyone who's commenting, I haven't read a single one focused on the game because I want to try and get one score in before uh, halftime. And then I'll read the comments. We'll go up 17 nothing going into the third half. That'll be good. Now Taylor to throw on second down. Left side for yeah, let's go, Sammy. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20 yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now we got a minute left. We have plenty of time. From the red zone now, here's Taylor on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his mm. running back. I don't want to get a field goal. I want to get a touchdown. There, bringing up second down. And here comes play number six on this. Now 48 drive. seconds to do this. Try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. Oh, Streeter, you had that. To the play. That should have been a penalty. They saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. After that actually might be a good play. All the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted. Just on their Colby, listen, B. I thought I cut him. Zone, a big time drop. Wide open. This is caught. Yeah, the boy, Sammy. Take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Sammy Watkins from 17 yards out, and the Bills will extend their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores. There we go. That's all we needed. He said those could be the ones TJ Yates, our backup quarterback behind uh, Tyrod Taylor, and then Nate Peterman is our third. I think. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Vikings offense gets set to Yes, take I do have Tredavious White and, and Ronald Darby, my top situation. cornerbacks. If you got the football, Who are the current top two cornerbacks for the Bills in real life, too? Oh, you got Chuck, boy. Eight seconds is going to be the final play, uh, play before halftime. And then uh, I'll check out what people have been saying. We got 109 comments. Holy hell. Oh, he went nowhere. That's halftime. So we are at halftime here. All uh, right, Maxwell Donisic. Uh, everyone buy Max's Kush, so uh, he can stop complaining. He's my second favorite team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, behind Buffalo, it's Tampa, then Carolina. You know, pretty good. And this is on pro difficulty, by the way, for those wondering. I don't play on rookie, I don't play on regular, I, pro, I play on pro. So both teams have their and I'm doing pretty good against the uh, Vikings. In quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here, this will be a touchback. Something's coming out. Just keep posting the same comment if I uh, keep missing it. What's up, Adrian? Diagonal from the ring in the second row. That's that's pretty good seats. I think my uh, AGR 12. He uh, he sat somewhere back in March by by the corner of the ring. I don't know, but the floor seats are pretty good. There's only one problem with the floor seats is when they talk on the mic, you can't really hear them. But the view and the experience is amazing. Oh man, it just ran right in front of me. Like the Falcons. Man, the Falcons are my dad's favorite team. And, you know, he was pissed when the freaking Patriots came back and won the Super Bowl. It was retarded. Yo, is that Reggie Raglan? He just killed him. Can I play Draft Champions next stream? Probably. Although I've gotten a ton of suggestions for the next stream. I'll do a draft champions. I could do Black Ops 2. I don't know. Well, I'll see. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. What's my opinion on the Green Bay Packers? It hasn't been his so far. Well, let's see. They lost some good players uh, during the offseason. As a matter of fact, their safety, Micah Hyde, he's now on the Bills. So I'm very excited that the Bills got Micah Hyde from uh, the Green Bay Packers. Oh, well, they got a first down. Damn it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, you know, he's he's one of the best quarterbacks out there, but he's getting old, man. I think they should uh, go for a quarterback in the draft next year. Same thing with New England. Brady's getting old. Carson Palmer's getting old. Oh, yeah, we broke that up. There's a lot of uh, quarterbacks that are getting old. I still hang out with uh, Super Age 12. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, last time we hung out was... Actually, I think on the 4th of July, so it's been about a month since we've hung out. But, yeah, we're always talking. Especially on Twitter. Twitter's basically our uh, main communication. We always tweet. Rogers is only 33 years old. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, as long as he's healthy, I guess, you know. That's good, right? I think uh, Tyrod Taylor is only like 28 or 31. I don't even know. He's young, though, so I'm happy. And as long as he improves, this, this is good. As the next series, the answer is always, I don't know. This is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. 136 That's comments. Uh, we're, yard we're getting close to the uh, Shino Numa live stream because we had like 311 comments, I think, was our total. Really for Shino Numa. SummerSlam prediction? Uh, it's not going to be what we think it is because last year when Brock beat the hell out of Orton and split his head open, no one expected that. So I'm expecting some crazy thing to happen. And I expect Brock to retain the Universal title. Oh, hell yeah, he missed. You, can't be thinking three here. you no, suck, you Bradford. You might as well go ahead and fold up yeah, I saw the Halloween El Toro. I haven't pre-ordered it yet, but, uh... You know, I'll see. 
Oh, look, their first score, a field goal. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 points. Oh, don't tell me that's a penalty. They only gave up three points in a lot of ways. That's Damn a it. win for the defense. Taiwan Jones, of course. The new guy. What's the plan? Sammy Watkins or Rod Streeter? Whoever's open. Here's Taylor to throw. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Who's that, Make Charles? Sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Let's see what the offense Unless he resigns his contract. Eight. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially Brock Lesnar. Unless he resigns his contract, his I don't know. Bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. We always like to talk about defense in terms of level. I think, it, well, level, Dennis Anderson, he's getting old, man. He's probably going to retire. Uh, then I want to say within the next three years. It's third down, six yards to go for the offense. They'll come out in the Charles pistol. Clay, looking at you. On third down, Taylor. I lied. Open man is go, Andre. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Give him well, I think the Dudley boys ever show up again. Well, you know, if the timing is right, you never know. I mean, if the Hardys came back to WWE, the Dudleys can definitely come back. Even though they just returned, I can definitely see them coming back soon. Oh, Sammy, no. Oh, my God. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Anderson Dejo. Damn. Oh, that's all right. We're still up. We have five minutes left to win the game. That's fine. Favorite WrestleMania entrance? Ooh, that's a tough one. There's a lot of good ones. I would have to say maybe... I don't even know. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to pick out, I'd like to say... Uh, Man, I don't even know. I don't even know what my favorite WrestleMania entrance would be. Maybe Triple H's where he was at WrestleMania 25 and he had the mirrors all around him and he smashed a sledgehammer through the mirrors. That was pretty cool, I guess. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. Absolutely. The Bills are going to the Super Bowl, baby. A second down throw for Bradford. Looking for Yo, there's our pick. By Preston Brown. Preston Brown, the linebacker. And they are going to set up. Told you I'd pick it back. The Bills getting set to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. Oh my god, my finger just slipped off the uh, controller. Whoever X was, Charles Clay. I'll take it. Oh, he almost broke his leg. Oh yeah, four minutes left. We're doing it, boy. Run with Shady. Yeah, I got, I got the Browns will win four games this year. Nah, they're going to win three. I think Miles Garrett's actually hurt. He's like got like some kind of injury. I think he pulled something in his hamstring. And uh, I don't know. I read it a while ago. I think he's okay though. I haven't seen any other injury reports about him. But I don't know. And Brock Osweiler starting for the Browns. Whew. That's something. Oh come on! I released it. I threw it away. Fine. Fine. I guess I have to throw a deep bomb down. To Andre Holmes, Rod Streeter, or Sammy Watkins. Oh, geez. This was a bad idea. Oh, man. He had it and he dropped it. <laughs> well, now everyone's saying Cleveland sucks. All right. Yeah. They suck, but, you know. Yeah, the Vikings watch, watch him in the go undefeated the for the first two weeks. <laughs> All right, Cleveland's gonna shock the world. Square, Sammy. Damn it, that was third down though. Yards, but still look at a down now. 
He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this Let's lead. Fake it, why not? To throw the pass and have it's not going to work, but why not? There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no Excellent doubt they want to ride all the way to the finish. Oh, this what the hell? I thought he faked it. You, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, oh, well. they're letting him throw it. I could have sworn I hit the, the fake. He's getting done. Now the Vikings now heading on to the field. And At least they're not the Detroit. I can't wait to play Detroit, man. Or go to the Detroit game. That's going to be fun as hell, man. And it's at night at 7 o'clock. Oh, man. I just can't wait. Did he drop that? Hell yeah. Bradford 7 for their hang. They live in Michigan, which is sad. <laughs> the Lions made the playoffs last year, didn't they? But they got eliminated round one. Well, the reasons why the Bills did bad last year was, one, we had Rex Ryan, and he ruined our defense completely. And thankfully, our defense is stronger than ever, and we got Deion Dawkins from the draft, and I'm excited because I didn't know who he was when we drafted him, and I was watching all of his college show videos. The dude is a beast. I cannot wait. Plus, Reggie Ragland's back, who we drafted last year. And he's like uh, Zach Brown's replacement because he went to the Redskins. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. But the defense for the Bills are looking mad good. And we got Tre'Davious White, Stephon Gilmore's uh, replacement. Oh, by the way, for those New England fans out there who think Stephon Gilmore is the greatest cornerback in the world, the dude is ass. And uh, you know. Just, just letting you know. I can't wait till we play the Patriots, to be honest. I went to the Detroit-Dallas game in the playoffs. Yeah. Dallas beat Detroit, and then Dallas lost to Green Bay, and then Green Bay lost to Atlanta. Fantastic how the NFC playoff went out. I'm surprised uh, Houston won their playoff game, even though Derek Carr got hurt. That's another thing. Watch out for the Raiders, because a healthy Derek Carr, they're going to be scary. We're just about done, guys. We've got a minute 35 left. I don't know what I'll do when this game's over. I might do a simulation game, just to simulate some games, see what people say. Actually, you know what? Uh, I had my, I have a little mini Bills schedule I have back here. I don't know what happened to it. I was gonna simulate some Bills games. Oh yeah, that went nowhere. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. Jordy Nelson, Randall game. Cobb, and Devontae Adams are the best wide receiver of trio. Eh, it's up there. Now, personally, I think uh, Muhammad Sanu, Julio Jones. Yo, intercepted! That's Jordan Poyer, our safety from uh, Cleveland. See, Jordan Poyer, he's a safety from Cleveland who we drafted from Buffalo. Hell yeah, he's going to be good. Except he's not going to be our uh, our starting safety. Our starting safety guy is going to be Micah Hyde. Poor Aaron Williams, man. Freaking Jarvis Landry cheap shot at him. Yo, let's go Chris Craig. Let's go Chris Craig. Let's go big fella. Come on, big fella. You can do it. Yeah. The big boy, Chris Craig. Mr. Poopy Butthole, what a name. Tell the wood you're coming for him, all right. Chris Craig, baby. I don't even think he's on the Bills. He was on the practice squad last year, and he did great in preseason. I don't know what happened to him. We got a flag, what happened? Oh, boy. Accept or decline, either way, it's good. Oh, they roughed Steven Hauschka? How dare you? You don't rush Steven Hauschka, you SOB. I can't believe we scored a touchdown with Chris Gregg. 
The Vikings offense now they get ready to head back on the field. They've lost. Oh, we got a. We got to give it to the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, look at they put up a hell of a game. They came so close to beating the Bills. Teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team. And we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was I mean, you guys got to admit, the, uh, the Vikings, that they're going to be, you know, the team to watch out for. They were undefeated. The only uh, undefeated team going into, like, week 6 of 2016, and they lost, like, the last four games in a row. Yeah, watch out for Deshaun Watson. I personally think Mitchell Trubisky is going to be a bust for Chicago. Also, speaking of Chicago, Jake Cutler is now the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins because Ryan Tannehill has to get knee surgery. Oh, hell yeah. Suck it, Bradford. Well, I think we're going to have to kneel it and just run it here, boys. 24-3, I think Buffalo has uh, aced the cake against the Vikings. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here. On Didn't the Victor Cruz go to the Bears? That's a good question. I don't know. I haven't even heard about Victor Cruz. Huh. Did he go to the Bears? If he did, that'd be something. I know Elshon Jeffrey went to the Eagles. And, he'll get this up and Alshon Jeffrey was for the Bears. Give him a I can't believe uh, they didn't uh, re-sign Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, damn it, Chicago. He was like their best wide receiver. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground. It's over. 24-3. to Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, funny. Talk about Speaking of the Eagles, that's who the Bills play for week two, and then week three they're at Baltimore, and then week four at Detroit, and that's the game I'm going to. So, check out my Instagram account for posts. Very good about that victory. Well, here's your statistics for uh, this wonderful preseason game. As you can see, the Vikings definitely tried. Their kicking game is good. But, uh, you know, not good enough. Buffalo uh, beats the Vikings preseason. Now, now, again, it's just preseason. Win or lose, it doesn't really matter. Because, like I said, it's preseason. Preseason doesn't count. But when week one comes, and another good thing is for week one, it's a home opener for the Bills. And guess who we play? None other than the New York Jets. Ugh. Man, just give us the bye week already. And here's another good thing. The Jets don't have Eric Decker, Brandon Marshall, or someone else. I forgot. They don't have um, Marshall. Oh, Darrell Revis, too. They don't have Decker, Revis, or Marshall. The Jets lost all of them. Also, they don't even have a good quarterback. They got rid of Fitzpatrick, who was their only decent quarterback. And now Fitzpatrick's a backup for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, I have to show you my custom quarterback for the Jets because, quite frankly, the quarterback they currently have just doesn't work. Christian Hackenberg, I believe, is the current uh, Jets quarterback, and he was their backup last year. So I'd like to show you my custom quarterback for the New York Jets. I think he fits just perfect. His name's Husky Garbanzo, and, you know, I'd like to show you him right now. He's currently my New York Jets quarterback. He's number one. There he is. Long blonde hair, he's number one, and you can see he's got the physical ability to be the perfect New York Jets quarterback. So I, I'm pretty sure Husky's going to do good. Darrell Revis. He's not on the Jets anymore, but we're like quarterbacks anyways. Yeah, these are uh, minus Husky Garbanzo. Geno Smith, Christian Hackenberg, and Bryce Petty are the three uh, quarterbacks for the Jets. Geno Smith is like a third string quarterback at this point. He, ever since he got his jaw broke by IK and Ampali, he, uh, you know, he hasn't been playing at all. Christian Hackenberg is who the people want to start for the Jets, but I, I've seen his throws at practice. There was even a reporter there that said Hackenberg missed his target and actually hit a reporter there multiple times. And Bryce Petty, he's a trash bag. So I could care less who they start. I mean, either way, the Jets have a trash quarterback. With Fitzpatrick gone, 
There is absolutely no way they can win. Especially, like I said, with Decker gone, Revis gone, and Marshall gone. So, that's sweet. Yeah, and what the hell? Why is everyone rating uh, Ezekiel Elliott one of the top wide receivers or uh, running backs? He's not. Alright, pick a game. Pick a team. Where's the random button? L2. Alright, you ready? These two teams right now, I'm gonna I'll randomize it, are gonna make the uh, playoffs this year. Oh yeah, appropriate. They just lost. Oh, you know what? That, that works out perfect. Can you imagine seeing Jacksonville in the playoffs? Now, I know they're supposed to be better this year because they got Leonard Fournette in the uh, draft. And for those of you who don't know who Leonard Fournette is, he is by far one of the best running backs I've ever seen. And, you know, he went to Jacksonville, and he's going to be a perfect replacement for Chris Ivory. Well, you know what? I might as well simulate the next Bills preseason home game, which is the game I'm going to, and that is going to be the Bills taking on... I'm not going to play it, I'm going to simulate it. The Detroit Lions. So that's going to be very, very interesting. So I'll simulate this game, I'm not going to play it. But it's going to be sweet, and I cannot wait. The uh, game starts at 7, but you know that's the closest time to 7. So we're going to simulate the Detroit Lions versus Buffalo Bills game. We're going to see how this ends up. I like the Detroit Lions, I'm not going to lie. Matt Stafford and Golden Tate, I honestly think they're the uh, they're the Matt Ryan and Julio Jones of the uh, NFC. Of their team, I should say, because they're both uh, NFC teams, the Falcons and the uh, Lions. So we're going to simulate the uh, this game right here. I've missed a lot of comments, by the way, and I'm probably not going to turn on the side comments again. Oh, and I'm going to simulate the Jets against the team. You guys tell me right now, who do you want me to simulate the New York Jets against? Because I guarantee the team you guys pick me, or pick, the, uh, Hello, the, the Jets will lose too. Thank you very much. It's the National oh yeah, see that guy, number 42, Pat DeMarco, coming straight from the Atlanta Falcons. Alright, so let's simulate this game, see who wins. Oh, Detroit's already... Oh, wow, Detroit is going up. Buffalo yet to score anything. Oh, Detroit is making names. Oh, there we go, Bills. Third quarter, can they come back? I don't know. 24-14. Looks like the... Li oh, yeah, Detroit. Detroit Lions, 42 to 20... 28. At least Buffalo came back. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? Interesting. So there's your preseason prediction simulated. I mean, what a game. Detroit Lions, 42 to 28. That's crazy. Jets versus Jags. Oh, yeah, this is my brother's account. I don't think. His, uh, his favorite team is the Jaguars. So I see a Jags versus Jets, so let's do it. Now we got Jets versus Packers. I don't know, next comment I see is what it's gonna be. Whoever comments Jets or Packers is what it's gonna be. Packers or Jaguars. Next comment I see is what it's gonna be. Jets versus who? Jags? Set. I think we're gonna have to do the Jags. Jags. I got two Jags. Alright. Uh, we'll do the Jags. We'll do uh the Packers against I don't know some other team. Alright, so you wanna do throwback uniforms? Let's see. Let's check out the throwback uniforms for the Jags. Now I'm gonna tell you my opinion on the Jaguars uniforms. I don't like their home uniform. I kind of like their away uniform, the white, it just stands out in the light blue, it looks sweet. I don't like their color rush, it should be all blue, like this, That that's what their color rush should have been, the all blue, that is, that's beautiful, I love it. As a matter of fact, we're going to keep that uniform on. The Jets are ranked 83 over the 80 Jaguars, I don't think that. Where's their throwback? Official away alternate, 2010 alternate classic, can you believe that used to be the Jets classic uniform? So I, I'm pretty much guaranteeing the uh, Jaguars will beat the Jets in this simulation game. So we'll just do this game, and then I'll probably end the stream. 
hello to everybody who just joined, and goodbye, because we're about to end the stream after I simulate this game. And if the Jets win this game, then, you know, I don't know. Oh, I have to make a Leonard Fournette, a custom character for uh, the Jaguars, because... Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure this music that you're hearing right now, I don't even know if you guys can hear the music, but uh, it gets copyrighted. Not to mention, once this gets uploaded, I have to go to an editor and change the title and all that crap. Jets jer the Jets jerseys look like the old, uh... Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, welcome to the... The old Chargers jerseys, yeah. Alright, so... My bet is the Jaguars win 21 to 19. 21 to 19, Jacksonville. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are the Jets gonna defeat the Jacks? I didn't think it would be possible. Oh my. Would you look at that? Wow, 48 to 20. Well, Charles, it's Boy, was I wrong. It's another thing to win put ah, well, you know. They had Husky Garbanzo, and, you know, he's the, he's the GOAT. All right. So, this is going to be the... Uh, oh, my cat just came in here. Hello, Tiger. It's going to be the end of the stream for that, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know when the next stream will be. And, uh, yep.